located in Chelsea at 530 West 24th Street, and we're so thrilled to be back open. We've opened a new exhibition of one of our contemporary artists, Susan Vexy. Susan lives in New York and East Hampton and has made these beautiful paintings that we're excited to share with you. We're going to do a series of videos and talks. I hope you'll be able to come see the exhibition in New York City, but if not, we're going to bring it to you as well. It's on view till August 21st. The gallery is open from 10 to 6, Monday through Friday. This is Susan Vexy. She is one of the artists that shows with our program. This is our fourth exhibition of her work. I've known Susan for about 15 years, and we talk about Susan's paintings a lot with clients, and I find that I'm always explaining your process. <laughs> and it's really complicated, more than people think. And wanted to see if you could start us from the beginning, not sure. at the painting, but where do you actually start? Sure. I am an abstract painter, but I do start with um, drawings from observation. So I will um, travel, I will be out on Long Island, and I will draw uh, on site in charcoal. And, um, and then I bring those drawings back to the studio, and then from that point on, I'm a studio artist. Basically, I think about these drawings, and I think, you know, what is the right size and scale for this particular drawing? And then I will build this size stretcher bar, stretch a Belgian linen over it, and then I work for probably a week or so to develop um, the right three or four colors that will lock together visually. So when you say drawing, though, do you mean with a pencil or how? What do you mean drawing? What kind so of drawing? So when I'm out in the landscape, I'm drawing uh, in charcoal. So charcoal sketches. When I come back to the studio, I'll develop those into pastel sketches. So I'll start to introduce color ideas. Uh, at that point. Um, but when I'm really starting to think about the painting itself, I'm doing a lot of color studies and those are in the oils that I'm, that I'm going to be using. And again, it's thinking about those three, four colors that are going to lock together and, and, you know, and talk to each other. This turquoise to me is talking to this color and maybe this color is talking to that color and that to me is pulling they're all, the colors are all kind of pulling themselves together. But do you know that you're already going to use a color like this, like you've already figured out in the study, in the pastel? Or yes. Whatever? Well, there's the pastel studies, but then after that, there's, a, there's an elaborate series of color studies where I'm just testing colors next to each other, and I'm testing it on um, scraps of linen. Um, but then once I start painting, um, I will make additional adjustments if necessary. Um, and... I work wet and wet, so I can't just apply this color. When I'm applying this color, I'm applying all of the colors. And it's iterative day to day, and it'll go on for sometimes two or three months. Um, so in the end, there's dozens of thin layers of paint. And, one and of you're the, not using a brush. I'm, no brushes are involved. But this is what everyone says and, to me, it's like um, a giant brush stroke, but it is I, not a brush. There are brushes in my studio, but I use them only for mixing the paint. Um, I'm really pouring. If necessary, I will um, use a rag, but I, from the outset when I, when I was experimenting before I started this body of work many years ago, I really thought, okay, I, I don't want to use brushes because if I'm going to have paintings that uh, don't look like other people's paintings, then I need to eliminate the brush. So that was like a very conscious decision I made um, not to have brush marks. Which is a big deal, I think, because we, in the history of art, think about a brush. So we call these stain paintings. Right. But can you, I don't, it's hard to see, and I hope the, the camera can zoom in at some point, but this, there is texture here. So what is this canvas, or what do you paint on? This is uh, Belgian linen, and I'm using the landscape as a vehicle to paint um, these compositions. But for me, the painting is really about the paint on the surface. So I'm very obsessive about the quality of the surface and what surfaces look like. It's very tricky to paint so thin with such a liquefied oil paint because it's hard to control <laughs> practically water. But the reason I do it is because I can slowly build up the layers and not lose the texture and quality and, and the beauty of the linen. Because when it comes down to it, ultimately I'm trying to celebrate the beauty of the material. So the Belgian linen, still seeing the texture of it and, you know, some layers of paint 
but not caking on the and, paint. And sometimes you leave the linen exposed. So Belgian linen is a brown, has a brown color. So yes. your canvas is white, but you're starting with a brown. I'm starting with brown, which is adding. a whole other consideration to the color studies because obviously color would react differently on white than it would on brown. So you have to factor in this brown tone when I'm working with all of these colors. It's beautiful and it's very subtle and it looks simple, but I, it's really complicated and this is just a stunning thing. Thank you, thank you.